Hey there, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. I'm going to show you how to auto-tune in Audacity, even if you're using a Mac for free. Sounds a bit too good to be true, but it's very easy. Go to gvst.co.uk and head over to the downloads page there, where you'll find a bunch of effects, plugins, instruments, uh, but note it's Windows only. Don't worry about that. Mac and Linux porting project page appears at the bottom. Go ahead and grab the VST plugins for Mac 32 and 64-bit VST hosts. There it is, heading into my downloads folder. Now, once you've got all of these plugins, the plugin you are going to need is called gsnap.vst. gsnap is a free auto-tune plugin for Audacity and other audio editors. Now, where to put it? I had this problem on a Mac. It was really, really difficult. Uh, first of all, go to your finder and go to go and then go to folder. And then you want this folder address, the little squiggly line, which means your home, your current user account, forward slash library, forward slash application support with a space in the middle, forward slash audacity. OK, when you go there, you will suddenly see that there are your plugin settings. OK, that's where you can do it. Uh, the plugins folder is what you're going to want. So I'm going to go back, back to my GSnap VST and I've got it already preloaded here. Plugins folder is where you want to go. Drop it into the plugins folder. Make sure it's there. Yes, it is there. And another key point, make sure you're not already running Audacity when you're doing all of this, okay? Now you want to go to your applications. Audacity will hopefully be already installed. Run Audacity. Let it load up. There it is. Now, this is where it gets fun. This is where we go into the effect menu of Audacity, add, remove plugins. And if you've done everything correctly, you should be able to scroll down until you see G-Snap. Yes, G-Snap on a Mac, auto-tune, here we come. So you'll see it's a, a new plugin. Just click enable and click OK. And now I'm going to maximize Audacity to show you that if you go into the effect menu now, G-Snap appears below the fault there, ready to use. Now I'll show you how to use it. Uh, go into the file menu or record something if you wish, but I've got some uh, some pre-made acapellas here uh, and I'm going to make a copy as usual. All right, here is our beautiful singer Kim from Music Radio Creative uh, doing a few yeah, yeah, yeahs. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. Lovely, isn't it? And? Remixes only. And this bit too? MRC. All right, let's have a mess about with that in auto-tune. Of course, it sounds good enough as it is in its current state, but let me give an example of how the auto-tune from G-Snap will work. Click that, and you get a very basic keyboard and a few little settings here. Uh, now, first of all, detection. This is where it's going to... The frequencies it will detect between. So 80 hertz is low bass, and 800 hertz, well, it's just below uh, speaking and singing range. I might increase that up to around 2,000 hertz to give a, a nice bit of detection area there. Gate, pretty standard, minus 50. Uh, you could ramp it up just a little bit if you wanted to be more sensitive. And the speed, this is how fast the G-Snap GVST plugin is going to detect uh, changes in pitch in the singing and change. So if you want to sound like T-Pain, you want to go right the way down to speed one because it's going to go whoa, 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 like that. that really bad impression of auto-tune. And if you go up, it's going to be a more natural kind of synthesized Katy Perry sound. So we'll go down to uh, around four just to give you an idea of how it works. Uh, and then we got the threshold. 100 cents is enough. If you go higher, it'll go all wobbly and weird again. Amount 90%. Let's make it 100% to be uh, right there. Going to take the attack right down to a millisecond and I'll let it release after about, shall we say, 61 milliseconds, just so you get a little bit of attack and then it changes before the release uh, back to the next thing. Uh, don't need to worry about MIDI. Uh, the keyboard we'll just leave as it is for the moment. Let's play some of Kim now and see how it sounds through this plugin. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. So you can definitely hear the auto tune in action. Let's do it over here as well. Remixes only. So you can hear it's already having an effect. It's auto tuning her voice. And if I was to do something really silly, just to show you how far this plugin really can go, and it's free, I know, uh, take away all the sharp notes. So now I'm putting, uh, I'm clicking the green buttons to cross out the uh, the sharps and the flats on the keyboard. Uh, so that means that it's going to select to uh, snap two selected notes, the green ones. Um, and uh, if it was a if there was a MIDI input, uh, then it would be snapping to the red notes. But there's no MIDI, so uh, essentially now I've told it only to 
to snap to uh, the the regular notes as opposed to the sharps and the flats. Let's listen. Remixes only. M R C. So you can hear it working just that little bit harder because it can't go to sharps and flats. Uh, so have a play with it. It's G Snap. It's available for Windows, Mac, and according to the website, also Linux. And you can use it for free in Audacity. Let me know how you get on, and if you need any help, in the comments to this video.